हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट कैंसर सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर दैट व्हाट इज कैंसर देन द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कैंसर कॉजेज ऑफ कैंसर सिम्टम्स ऑफ कैंसर डायग्नोसिस दैट हाउ यू कैन डायग्नोज द कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कैंसर एंड प्रिवेंशन ऑफ कैंसर so first of all what is cancer so cancer is a condition or you can say a group of diseases in which normal cell they lose the control over their growth so they grow indefinitely so cancer is simply the uncontrolled growth of the normal cell is called as cancer now the types of cancer so cancer generally of following types like first carcinomas so carcinomas are the cancer of epithelial tissues like lung cancer breast cancer colon cancer etc second sarcomas so these are the cancer of connective tissue that is bone cancer muscle cancer etc then leukemia so it is the cancer of blood forming tissue that is bone marrow then lymphomas which is the cancer of lymphatic system and myelomas the cancer of plasma cell in the bone marrow so these are the certain types of cancers on the basis of the target tissue or target cell they affect so on the basis that whether cancer stay to the location or move to another location so cancer can also be defined as metastatic cancer and non metastatic cancer so metastatic cancer is that cancer which travel or you can say which spread from one location to another location or one body part to another body part so that cancer is known as metastatic cancer and this condition or this property or you can say the process of transferring of this cancer cells is known as metastasis then non metastatic cancer so these are those cancer which stay located to the original site they do not spread to the other body parts they remain located to the initial site so these are the non metastatic cancer next the causes of cancer include first genetic mutation so due to certain mutations cancer can be developed in a particular individual because due to these mutations there is a change in dna which ultimately leads to the uncontrolled growth of the cell so genetic mutations are one of the cause of cancer then lifestyle yeah definitely the lifestyle like smoking alcohol and poor diet they all are the you can say these all are responsible for the development of cancer then environmental exposure like if you expose to certain chemicals or radiations during your life or due to some occupational exposure then you are more likely to develop the cancer then infection certain viruses can also cause cancer like hpv hepatitis b and c so these viruses are also cause cancer next symptoms of cancer so symptoms include like first unexplained weight loss means patient lose its uh, weight very fastly then fatigue patient do not feel active he feel fatigueness then skin changes sir sometime the skin of the patient also changes to yellowish or dark color then lumps and swellings are there due to uncontrolled or abnormal cell division or growth there is the development of lumps or uh, you can say some swollen tissues can be accumulated then persistence cough and hoarseness in the uh, throat and definitely sometime the cancer patient they feel pain if they are in their you can say last stages so they may experience a extreme pain now how you can diagnose the cancer means how you can know that a patient have cancer or not so diagnosis involve certain examination like first physical examination by physically examine the patient you can tell whether the patient is suffered from cancer or not certain signs can be observed for the development of cancer then imaging techniques like x ray ct scan mri they can be used for the detection of cancer 
then biopsy in the biopsy we just take the tissue sample and study under microscope in order to see that whether this tissue is cancerous or not then blood test can also be done in the blood test we observe for certain marker which are called as tumor markers so if these markers are present then we can say the patient is suffered from cancer so by these means we can diagnose the cancer next treatment means how you can treat a cancer patient so some treatments are available like first is chemotherapy so in the chemotherapy we give some chemicals or drugs in order to uh, treat the cancer cells then radiation therapy we can also use radiation to destroy the cancer cells so that they uh, they cannot spread to other parts and the cancer cell they will be destroyed by using radiations then immunotherapy we can use certain antibodies to destroy to targetly destroy the cancer cells then surgery in some cases we can also remove the cancerous part so that we can prevent the spreading of cancer to some other organs like we we can remove that particular cancerous part via surgery then hormonal treat therapy we can also give certain hormonal therapy in order to treat the cancer then how you can prevent the development of cancer so you may take certain precautions in order to prevent the development of cancer like first avoid tobacco and alcoholic product because these are directly related to cause the cancer then just adopt healthy lifestyle do regular exercises and take healthy diet then regular medical checkup are also necessary you should uh, undergo certain medical checkup regularly in order to see that whether you are prone to cancer or not then vaccination for in case of you can say the viruses you can undergo vaccination in order to prevent the cancer caused by the viruses then protection from sun exposure means some uh, the sunlight is also cause skin cancer so you have to protect yourself from the direct exposure to sun use certain lotion or moisturizer in order to prevent your skin from the cancer uh, you can say the from sunlight so this is all about cancer guys hope you like the video see you in the next video thank you very much